combine two to three digit by one digit with regrouping. Suppose that we have 6 times 54. Ang una natin gagawin ay i-arrange natin yung number vertically o patayo. So that is 54 times 6. Ang tawag natin sa 54 ay multiplicand. At ang tawag naman natin sa 6 ay multiplier. Now, let's multiply. Lagi nating tandaan na kapag tayo ay nagpaparami o nagmumultiply, lagi nagsisimula sa place value of once. So, we have 6 times 4. So, 6 times 4 is equals to 24. So, since ang sagot natin ay 2 digit, so, i-re-regroup natin. So, we are going to bring down 4 and carry over 2. Since 2 is in the tens place value. Or yung value ng ating 2 dito ay 20. Kaya doon natin siya i-align sa tens place. Next to be multiplied is yung nasa tens place. We have 6 times 5 is equals to 30. 30 plus 2 is equals to 32. So therefore, our answer is 324. Ang tawag natin sa 324 ay product. So again, 54 times 6 is equal to 324. Now let's have another example. We have here 7 times 35. So again, first thing we should do, arrange the number vertically. O aayusin natin ito, patayo. We have 35 times 7. Now, let's multiply. So, again, magsisimula tayo magmultiply sa ones place. We have 7 times 5 is equals to 35. Dahil 2 digit again yan, yung 5, sulat natin dito, and then carry over 3. Next to be multiplied is in the tens place, which is 3. 7 times 3 is equals to 21. And 21, ipa-plus natin yung carry na 3, is equals to 24. So therefore, our product is 245. So we have 35 times 7, or 7 times 35, the answer is 245. Now let's have our example number 3. We have 8 times 300. 26. Now, this time, multiplying one digit by three digit. Okay, so again, arrange first the number vertically. So, we have 326 times 8. So, again, magsisimula tayo sa place value na once. We have 8 times 6. The answer is 48. We're going to write 8 and then carry here 4. Next place value is in the tens place. We have 8 times 2 is equals to 16 plus 4 is equals to 20. We're going to write 0 and carry 2. Next place is in the hundreds place. We have 8 times 3 is equals to 24. 24 plus 2 is equals to 26. So therefore, our product is 2,608. So again, 8 times 326, the answer is 2,608. 
So I hope at this point ay naiintindihan nyo na ang step-by-step -step process natin kung paano mag-multiply. So for our last example, we have 9 times 525. So again, arrange the number vertically. So we have 525 times 9. So again, start first with the ones place value. We have 9 times 5 is equals to 45. So write 5 here, then regroup 4. Next is in the tens place value. 9 times 2 is equals to 18. 18 plus 4 is equals to 22. So write 2, then carry 2. The last digit is the hundreds place or 5. 9 times 5 is equals to 45. 45 plus 2 is equals to 47. So therefore, 9 times 525, our product is 4,725. Ating tandaan, sa pagpaparami ng bilang o multiplication, laging nag-uumpisa sa ones place ang pagsagot. Kung ang sagot ay 2 digits, i-regroup ang nasa kaliwang digit sa ibabaw ng kasunod na place value upang maidagdag sa kasunod na sagot. Gawin din ang parang ito hanggang sa umabot sa hundreds place. Sana ay natuto kayo sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Maraming salamat. Paalam!